I usually don't like to do two of the same type of videos back to back. I did a how to mod video yesterday, but because I have had so many people request this video, I'm going to do another one again. And this is about Nest, one of the most requested characters that I have to do a how to mod video on. And it's probably because she is viable at three, four, five, six, and seven stars. I have her at seven stars, but she is viable at three in arena and other aspects as well. Before I look at her mods, I want to read something about her kit, which I find important. And we're going to go down to Fighting in Instinct, which is Zated. I would suggest you Zeta this if you have her. I'm going to read through the ability and then explain why I'm going to do what I do. It says Nest has plus 80% counter chance and ignores taunt during her turn. Whenever Nest is damaged by an attack, she gains plus 30% critical chance and 40% bonus protection stacking. This bonus protection increases by an additional 40% each time both bonuses expire and reset at the end of her next turn. Whenever an enemy loses a buff or debuff, Nest gains, this is huge, plus 2% critical damage and health steal stacking until the end of the encounter. So she's going to be able to keep gaining critical damage, which means the critical chance that she has, we uh, we want to raise this critical chance because when she's able to hit with the crit damage after the battle goes on, it's going to do a pretty decent amount of damage. So now I'm going to go in and we're going to look at the mods. When you look at the basic, you click on advanced up top, it goes to basic. The recommended sets say speed and potency. They are correct. Because she is, it says an, she's an attacker, but she is a very good at controlling as well with the daze and the stun that she can give. And she can take off a taunt with her basic. It's amazing. And she can ignore taunts if she wants. It makes her very, very good. I call her the Tuscan Wampa because she's similar to Wampa and she kind of looks like a Tuscan Raider. So I do have a speed set on her. Are these my best speed mods in the world? No, I have those on Thrawn. So I'm running her at 261. And that's pretty low for a nest. If you could get her higher, you would want her higher. The square always has the offense primary. We know this. And I have a plus 11 speed in the secondary stats. The other secondary stats, let's slice it once just to see what happens here. See what increases. I got a plus six increase on defense. Woo, so excited. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, that was real beneficial. So again, the 11 speed, the secondary stat. We're going to look at the diamond now, which is always a defense in the primary. And I have a plus 13 speed. I also have a plus 1.34% potency. Man, I can't get any secondary stats that are good besides speed. That's why slicing is becoming so important. So if I can maybe slice this twice, I can get the potency up to 4 or 5%, which would help so much more and increase the speed. Slicing is important. We'll go down. We'll look at the circle now. And it states... It's a primary set of protection. Remember, this can either be protection or health. I have a plus 11 speed on her, an extra little bit of extra protection, you know, etc. Uh, I say etc. a lot, and somebody noted that I say it differently than it's supposed to be said. It's supposed to be said etc., and I say etc. So from now on, I'm going to be very conscious about it saying etc. We're going to go over to the cross, and as always, especially with a character that is inflicting debuffs, potency is extremely important. I only have plus 8 speed, but at least it's some speed. Let's slice this, see what happens here. I got a 0.32% offense increase. I'm so excited! Just what I wanted. Of course, when I slice some other mods, good things happen. This is just awful. But it's that potency increase... Uh, that's important. Allow her to inflict debuffs. I'm going to go to the arrow first before I go to the triangle. Now, again, you would like a crit chance uh, set or, I mean, a, two potency mods to put in the arrow in the triangle in the situation. I just put two of the same mods because I might as well raise the tenacity some. And it is a speed mod in the arrow obviously that's the most you know important mod usually that there is and i have a plus 1.72 percent tenacity and a plus 0.02 percent protect 4.20 percent protection that's pretty darn good raising that protection i get a plus 20 percent tenacity even if it's not something she needs she can resist some more effects and this is where i go in and, and do things a little differently than other people in the triangle i put a crit damage one not only because it has a great secondary speed stat two because I want to raise that crit damage to at least 186% or 186%. So when she keeps stacking as the battle goes on, that keeps getting higher and higher and higher and higher. And eventually she can do massive damage when it comes later in the battle. 
and it ignores protection if they have protection as well. So that's how I do it. I have speed, like I said, 261, you guys can get her higher. You guys have better mods, I understand that, but 261 is still decent. I have her potency at 66%, which is pretty decent. Again, it could be higher, but I'm gonna go into battle and show you how it works. So to sum it up, speed and potency. This, this, in this instance, it's right when you go to the basing and it says recommended not set speed and potency, because her job is to continue to attack and get those debuffs up. And by the way, her ability to counter uh, almost every time is unparalleled because it can counter tanks take the taunt off so we're going to go into battle and i do use her in my arena team and we're going to you know what how about we go face this other team that has a nest right here oh can't do that because they're at the same shard payout as me and i do not want to get lambasted in the shard chat don't know if i want to go up against a jedi team right now i'd probably get my butt kicked and none of these debuffs would stick anyway with a Bastila lead. So it appears that I'm going to be going after Xander here. And I'm going to run with the team that I usually run. Pulp lead, Thrawn, Scion, Nihilus, and Nest. And speaking of which, my new guild is going to attempt our first heroic Sith raid tomorrow. I'm so excited. Seriously, even if we don't succeed the first time, we're going to be able to succeed eventually because we're all powerful enough. I'm pumped. So into battle we go. My Thrawn will go first, unless their nest goes first, which he doesn't. And what happens here, I'm allowed to switch turn meter with Scion, which I do most of the time, because that's the best thing to do. And we're going to dispel. We're going to get that taunt off of Sith Trooper. And their nest went before my nest. She gave days to everybody. This is a bad start to the battle. And they isolated my nest. So let's try to get... Let's attack Scion in the back. Of course, they... Increase the cooldowns So I'm not gonna be able to use half my attacks here yet Let's see again. I just want to keep hitting scion Isolate is a very Oh my gosh, I'm getting tore up Okay, we'll get a fracture on Scion let's get rid of the taunt from sith trooper and I oh man got to prevent somehow them annihilating good i can i can increase their cooldowns decrease mine a little bit my nest hasn't really done anything this battle because she was isolated okay and now i get held by hatred though held by hatred is huge this is going to help me out quite a bit uh, let's get rid of retribution and speed up on treya and sith trooper good their nihilus has ability block which is really good because this means that i can come in eventually this will stun by the way which is nice. Now I finally get to use Nest. Watch all this daze that is going to spread. Oh, uh, not much of it spread. Just wonderful, huh? Okay. I, I, oh, I'm i going to be forced to take out Scion with Nihilus when I really want to take out their Nihilus. Oh, nope. Luckily, he lost his he lost his taunt. So now that their Nihilus is gone, I feel a lot better about the direction of the battle. Let's fracture. Do I want to fracture Scion? Or do I want to fracture, tr fracture Treya? Let's fracture Treya. Because Sai and I have a feeling I'm going to have to take out with another Annihilate from Nihilus. Yeah. Uh, see, I could have prevented him from getting to that. I don't know. Okay, what's great now about Nest is I can switch to somebody. And let's, let's try to stun Sith Trooper here. See, she stunned. She gave buff immunity. And that was very nice. I can increase the cooldowns now, which is nice. There goes my Thrawn, which is unfortunate. But I still have Nihilus, Nest, and they don't. I have I have three characters on the field right now that are potential game changers because of these situations. Nihilus can annihilate. Scion has held by hatred, so he's going to revive. And Nest, the more she gets hit, if she gets hit consecutively, she's going to gain bonus protection and get stronger throughout the battle. I'm sitting pretty decent right now. Look at, man, they can... She still takes some damage from Treya. Uh, see, getting rid of that taunt. Increase everybody's cooldowns, which is nice because I'm going to be able to come after... Ooh, look at Their Scion took out my nest. That's... That's... That's tricky. Which, but here's what's nice. I can get rid of their Scion. Their Scion is gone. Now I'm going to go after their Treya. Let's get their Treya out of here. Big hit. Come on, big hit. Nice. Pretty big hit right there. Increase everybody's cools down. I have a minute cooldown. I have a minute 35 left. 
So let's see how much I can... Uh, let's see how much this does the nest. Oh, she, I wanted to see if I could get a one-hit wonder. Take her out. Should have waited for the big attack. Probably made a mistake there. So what it's going to come down to now... I'm not going to use that right now. I'm going to save it. Is can my Scion take out the rest of these... The rest of these characters? Well, this isn't good. Because now he has Isolate. And Isolate... Ugh, Isolate's going to allow him not to revive. Hmm. Let's, okay, let's see if I can knock out Treya here. She gone. Isolate's gone. This is big. Let's try to get uh, Nesta. Uh, I probably should take down Sith Trooper first, huh? Let's use this again. And let's get him out of here so I can auto and get it to go faster with Nest. Actually, I'm just going to put on auto right now because I don't have time, really. I have 30 seconds to finish this battle, and I need to get the Sith Trooper out of here if possible. Use Held by Hatred again, I guess. Ah! 20 seconds. Okay, can he take Nest out in 20 seconds? This is a very, very important... 13 seconds. 10 seconds. Come on, use your big, big attack. 9 seconds. 7 seconds. Held by Hatred. Come on, using the big one. Oh, she's gone with three seconds left. We get the victory. Woo! So I'm definitely going to have to bring the audible down, audio down a little bit on that because I have some people say that I speak too loud. But look at that. He comes in clutch with Held by Hatred. I am going to take on another team so I can show you how Nest works again. I want to get those debuffs up there more so we can go through, show you what happens. I hope, I hope that she doesn't get isolated this time. We're going to take out Tempest here. Okay, so my Thrawn is going to get to go first again. Now, here's the situation. Let me think here. Nope, let's let's swap turn meter with Scion again. That's the important thing to do. Want to get rid of that right away. Ugh, their, their Nihilus increased my cooldowns. Hate it when that happens. Nice. Now, who am I going to fracture? Let's fracture Treya so she, so she can't throw up any Isolate, which would affect a lot. See, and nice, their Thrawn made a mistake. Tried to give turn meter to Treya. Okay, come on. Get some force to attack him, which is fine. Which is fine. I need to get my nest through here pretty soon. Nice. Sometimes, see, I got my, to increase their cooldowns or use my drain life. Sometimes it benefits if you get to go second. Um, with that, because, uh, because of its ability to keep their Nihilus from getting another Annihilate the next turn. It's done. Nice. I love that. Now, I think Ness gets to come in. Let's give some nice days to everybody. Look at that. Very good. Let's hit Scion. And, oh, let's, oh, how do I want to do this? Let's just, let's just give it a big bop. Didn't do much at all. Okay, their Nihilus has ability block, which is very nice. Okay, this is wonderful. This is a game changer because I get to take out their Nihilus right now. And I get to come in and let's fracture their Scion to prevent him from getting held by hatred. And now I can keep attacking him. Okay. To see how Nest works, let's stun Thrawn. Use this, stun Thrawn. Didn't stun, but he got buff immunity. He still has daze. And guys, remember, daze is such an important mechanic. I'll read it over quick again here. If I can absolutely press on one of these things. What it does is it prevents them from gaining bonus turn meter, which is huge. Which is very big. Daze is a great mechanic. Maul has it. Jeez, how much health does their Thrawn have in the back there? I'm just trying to do this slowly, but surely I probably made a mistake here. Trying to prove what Ness could do. But nice, I'll fracture the Sith Trooper so he can't taunt. Thrawn is also very nice for that. I get to use my own Held by Hatred. And again, I'm just going to save my... I won't take out their Scion until I get it with my Nihilus. Let's get some days again. Good, I got it on Sith Trooper in the back. Days can assist, counterattack, or gain bonus turn meter. That's huge. Get some stun. And let's see. Let's do a big, big hit on their Scion. Nice big hit. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to use Held by Hatred again. Look at the counter on Treya. Good, I can increase everybody's cooldowns. This match is going much smoother than the last one. I'm not going to have to win at the last second. 
Let's see. Yeah, I'm forced to attack you anyway. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Goodbye. Okay, a minute 53. I have all characters left. They only have two, and one of them is just a tank. Whew, big hit. Okay, let's come in, hit Treya. Nice, we'll put it on auto for the win. You can see why I don't have Treya yet. Hopefully I will soon. What ne Nest really makes my team able to compete in the top of arena uh, without having Treya because of the days. They can't assist, they can't counter attack, they can't gain bonus turn meter, and that is huge in some of these situations. The fracture with Thrawn, the days with Nest can absolutely change the whole circumstances of the match so again speed potency and i like to add that crit damage on there you can put if you wanted to be more tanky you can put protection on there stuff like that so there's the how to mod nest video if you have not subscribed please smash the subscribe button like the video as well click the notification bell so you can be alerted to every video that i post and leave a comment section in the comment section below let me know if you think I'm right, if I'm wrong, if I'm smart, if I'm stupid, etc. And leave more video ideas, please. Give me some video ideas that you think would get 10,000 views. You know, let's keep continuing to grow, etc. etc. There, I made sure I said it right this time. Otherwise, peace out and may the force be with you.